Hi folks, it's Real Engineer. Welcome to welcome to my channel. We're playing a new game called Builder Simulator. Uh, today the developers just released a uh, the playtest version. So I I've yet to even touch the, the demo or anything like that. I'm really new to the game. So let's see what this game has to offer. New game play 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 test. Okay. Planner tutorial. Hmm. Let's play the tutorial. Foundations sound fun. Huh. Okay. Yes, I want to play this. Play the tutorial. Who's this guy? <laughs> oh. Uh. What? Welcome to the Builder this? Factory. You're probably wondering why you're in this place. Yeah, I'm it's wondering. It's just because the game designer wanted the level to be small. My name is Bill Dern, and today I'm going to be your worst nightmare. <laughs> Guide through the game mechanics. Let's start with the basics. Follow me. You know what to press, don't you? The tool wheel is available under the scroll, or under the left bumper on the gamepad. Try it now! Uh... Under the Q key, you'll always have a task list available regardless of the game mode. As soon as you move the controller, the game swaps the controls to it. This way you'll never get lost. Fantastic! My maker always said that everything needs a solid base. Let's start with foundation. Select a shovel Stop from the tool me. wheel this, this and dig the area for oh foundation. Gosh. The shovel? Uh... Um, well, oh, they want this part dug out. I thought they wanted the whole thing. My bad. I'm like, I thought they wanted the whole thing. Oh, wow. You can do this fast. Just hold, the, hold the button. That's what, that's what it seems like. Wow. Uh, you see how fast I'm going, folks? Works and you reinforcements. See? As a real builder, you have to use the store to get the materials you need to build. Press tab or select on gamepad to open the store. Good job! Choose the first store available. Now on the left, is a list of available categories according to the stage of construction. You can change the number of items you want to buy to 1, 10, or 100. Buy 100 formworks and reinforcements. Uh oh. Whoops. Uh Great job! Did you know that by holding down the left mouse button, or the right trigger on the gamepad, you can insert them in the blink of an eye? Each stage of construction shows holograms to help you visually indicate which stage you are currently at. You know the joke about how one person works and the rest just watch? You just became part of it. Oh, wow. Look how fast we're laying this, folks. Look how fast. Great. Man, I might as well be a house builder. Next up is reinforcement. Same principle as with formwork. Click uh, or right. hold. All right. Good job. There we go. Now it's time for the creme de la creme. What? Pouring the foundations. Go to the wheelbarrow and pour concrete over the foundations. 
Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Builder's wedding just for you. So, does it matter what we do? Oh, I missed like a so bunch. Well, I guess you can't go too fast, right? I still missed them. I don't know where the hitbox is though. That's the problem. Oh man. Okay, well. That's it for this part. I'll see you at the concrete mixer in a bit. All right. I guess we're just doing me tutorials, guys, so we can see what we're doing. All right. Let's see what this guy wants. You're probably wondering, how come you had concrete in your wheelbarrow in the previous level? Yeah. The game designers didn't want the stage to be too long. Let's find out how to make it! Oh gosh. Choo-choo! Do we use your back then? Because you have a concrete mixer on your back. You can create two types of mixes! Mortar and concrete. Mortar is needed to join the blocks. Concrete, on the other hand, is used for foundations. Let's start by turning on the concrete mixer. Okay. You will lose one dollar for each second you leave the concrete mixer on. A dollar? So make it Bruh. quick and effective. All the ingredients you need can be found around the concrete mixer. Above the concrete mixer, there are the ingredients you need to create a mortar. Start with the sand. Take your shovel and put some in. They're trying to rob me. Why do you want us to do so? That looked like it's already concrete. It does not look like that. How about y'all? Great! Now it's time for cement. Add some from the bags on the ground. Lovely! Uh, All you need now is a bucket of water that you can find in your tool wheel. My tool wheel. Oh, I was like, where's the bucket? Where's the water at? Alright. That was a lag spike for a second there. Uh. Guess I'll grab this. Ooh, that was tough. It was not all tough. I told you, you could do it much simpler and faster. Really? Go by the mixer and find the panel. There are three buttons here. Trying to charge me on the leg for this. You see this guys? Trying to charge me arm and a leg. Well, improve your quality of life even more. You don't have to drive around with a wheelbarrow all the time. Open the tool wheel and choose the wheelbarrow. The game will teleport the wheelbarrow under the mixer at no additional cost. Oh, how cool is that? Now that you have everything you need. You can pour the concrete from the mixer into the wheelbarrow. Amazing, huh. right? That's nice. We're not going to pour the foundation again because there's no point. But we'll see each other in the next stage very soon. Yeah, can you turn that off? Because I'm not trying to get charged, like, losing all my money. Like, seriously, they're trying to rob me. Wake the hell up, Builder. We have a concrete screen to dig. Oh. Enough Excuse me. Let's Please talk go. To that. needs a proper concrete screed. Let's continue with what we've prepared at the first stage. Get your shovel and dig the ground! This reminds me of Minecraft a little bit. Does that not, guys? But we have a big shovel. Great! Next up, you need a sand. Oh, you can God. do this in two ways. Either by the shovel or 
by the wheelbarrow. Go to the sand pile and pick up some sand with your shovel. I just then did. place it in the floor. I just did. Nice. The second way is to pour sand from a wheelbarrow. Try putting some sand in the wheelbarrow. Great. Now finish sand bedding by pouring the sand over the concrete screed. Uh, what? How does one shovel do all that? And I'm stuck now. Oh, never mind. But seriously, how? What? You guys don't believe this, right? How does... Listen. Okay, look. And that's it. But with this wheelbarrow... We're magically able to get it done. Now we have to buy some reinforcements. Every house you build needs reinforcement to make concrete more durable. <sighs> buy 30 grid reinforcements. Now place them on the foil. Okay. Oh, this one got to got to oh, click. You heard him humming too, right? I was the only one that heard that. Now it's time for concrete. Oh god. You already have it waiting in the wheelbarrow. Cheating is fun sometimes, huh? Pour it over. Oh. What? So we got to keep going with the Oh. If we were real friends, I'd have really concrete advice for you. Okay. Great work. It was scarier in previous demo, wasn't it? It wasn't even working properly, but no one noticed. Now, every building needs an insulation. Fun fact. You should do it both in the walls and in the foundations. First, buy 30 insulations in the shop. Now, place the insulation over. Oh, so this time you want me to place it by clicking it, but other times I was able to hold it. You know, that's not like a scam. I, this, this, this game is a scam. It's, not We're really, but it's not a scam. I'm just it, Use don't, the don't, don't take and it real seriously. The final concrete layer. Are you serious? I, in my uh, world of, I've never seen. Oh, so what is the lightest kind of building you can construct? A lighthouse. <laughs> Alright, listen, I'm gonna have to press chart. I'm gonna have to get a restraining order on this guy. Like, seriously. Mm -mm. We're gonna need a restraining order on him. A uh, big That's restraining it. order. Now Absolutely. you're done with the concrete screen loop. Absolutely gonna need a restraining It'll order. It'll get a lot better and rewarding from now on. Simulators must reflect reality, but we have prepared a lot of interesting solutions for you that will speed up your work considerably. See you later, excavator! Alright, can we go on? I mean, I'm, hold on, folks. Let me see. How many more tutorials do we have left? Or did I just mess it up? I think I might have messed it up. <laughs> oh. Okay, well. Foundations sound fun! Am I really going to do all this? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm right. getting tired of carrying this game on my back. Like, I don't care. You're a robot. After a while, crocodile. Oh, very nice. Here. It's time for the load-bearing wall. Quickly to the Batmobile uh, training room. Uh, I'll take you through it on the way. Okay. There are certain types of walls. 
In our game, there are three types of walls. Hurry up, Bill. Barry, Shut up. Hurry. Partition, <laughs> concrete partition walls. Trust me, it's the most harassed. rewarding. I'm being harassed by this robot. Someone call 911. I'm being harassed by this robot. You'll see the effects immediately. Okay, you cool. You need to get hollow blocks from the shop. Buy 100 of them now. Oh my gosh. Fantastic! Now it's time to pick up mortar. You can find it in the wheelbarrow. Oh. Select trowel and pick up mortar from the wheelbarrow. Once collected, it remains on the trowel until the resource in the wheelbarrow is exhausted. That way you don't have to go back and forth. We're taking notes from the last demo, huh? In Builder Simulator, we have a leveling system that allows you to build houses faster the more you build them. Try it out by placing the first hollow block. Use the trowel to lay the mortar on the hollow block. Great! Now place the hollow block on it. Level up! I never thought someone would level up from the first hollow block. Oh now my. you've unlocked double hollow block placement. Give it a try. Okay. You leveled up again. Holy trowel. Let's see what happens now. Amazing. It reminds me of the Egyptian buildings I have in my data. Let's put up the scaffolding. Where? Scaffolding will be very helpful when working at heights. Select a scaffolding from the tool wheel. You oh. can rotate it by clicking the right mouse button or left trigger. Oh. And not only that, you can also move it very precisely. The scroll wheel. Good work. You can climb the ladder by clicking on it. I'll tell you a secret about layer 12. The 12th layer is the lintel layer. Ever heard of it? Oh my gosh. Its task is to transfer the weight from the opening to the adjacent walls. Uh, Above every I want one of you talking to shut windows, him up. You need to play Come here. One. Buy one lintel from the shop. Right. It's time to place it in the what hologram. The? Oh boy. Where's this go? Place in the hologram. What hologram? Oh boy. Is it this one? No. Oh, right there. I'm not smart. Part of the walls I'm is not smart. The ceiling when you reach the right height. Ceiling holograms will automatically appear when you fill in the blocks on the last layer. And this is the moment when you have to place the ceiling blocks. Buy 20 ceiling blocks from the shop. Some would say the sky's the limit, but for us, it's ceiling blocks on each level. <laughs> Enough dad jokes. You're Put not the funny. Ceiling blocks in You're the honestly hologram. not funny. You're not funny. Ordinary. After your work, dismantle your scaffolding with drills. This way, when your house is built and beautiful, you can take a picture of it. Yes, we do have photo mode. Uh, the next step will be the partition walls. See you later. You see, this is, this guy's always harassing me. Always harassing Welcome me. Welcome back. Eager to learn more? Today no. you will learn how to insert That's not why I'm here. That's windows. not why I'm here. It's pretty cool and easy. Follow me. My youth, by being a Jamaican out of me. May I strangle you. May I strangle you. You understand me, my youth? Our game is no different. 
Remember from the previous stage when you inserted the lintels? <sighs> you don't have to do it this time. But you need to know that they are the reason we can put in doors and windows. Let's start with doors. Buy one outside door. Great. Select it from the inventory and look at the entrance of the house. You may notice that the door is in the wrong position. Adjust it using the scroll bar. Hologram will turn green when it's done. The spirit level moves with the door and will show you the correct position when the door lights up green. Great job! Now you have to screw in the hinges. Choose a drill and insert the necessary screws. Choose All the screws drill. that need to There's be screwed in done. always light up orange. Imagine using a screwdriver. Now it's time for wedges. Simply fill them in by clicking on the highlighted areas. Now you know how to insert a door. You can even open and close them by clicking on them. Don't worry about the foam. We'll talk about it later. Uh... Amazing! Let's move on to windows. Okay. There are two types of windows. Any window under two meters on the planner is a standard home window. Likewise, any window over two meters is already a patio window. You dictate the terms on the planner and choose what size windows you want to insert. For the purposes of the tutorial, you will insert a single window. Buy one window from the shop. Nicely done. Now try inserting them Mario, just like shut the door. up. Shut up, Mayu. Same principle, shut up. Same fun. Now it's time to put in all the screws <sighs> you need. Next step, insert the wedges. Insert them by simply clicking on the hologram. Support wedges are used to support and stabilize the window in the window opening. Did you see how the foam filled itself after the wedges were inserted? We thought that doing it manually would be boring, so we automated it. Remember Dealing that with you every is, window come here. requires a sill or threshold. Oh, you're lucky I can't punch you. Adjust it like you did with window and door. Great! Look at the patio window next to you. You can see the difference. Yeah. That's everything for doors and windows. This man. Remember, you decide how you want your house to look. See you in the next stage. We're going to beat this man up. After this tutorial. I'm I'm tired of him. Ah, I'm extremely tired of him. Partition walls are my hobby. My neighbors also love to hear the drill. Ask them. They'll tell you all about it. <laughs> I bet you don't want to drown Let's you too. Go to the training room. <sighs> Partitions separate rooms from each other and should therefore have the best possible sound insulation properties. Let's start with plasterboard walls. Of course, you have to mark them on the planner first. But for the purpose of the tutorial, on the partition walls themselves, we've Jesus, already determined Jesus. them. You're oh. welcome. Uh. To build a wall, you need floor, ceiling, and wall profiles. Buy 100 profiles in the shop. Jeez, the thing I made a, a Monopoly money? My gosh. Great. Now place them in the holograms and screw them in with a drill. What? Oh. The wheel on the bill goes round and round. Shut up. Ugh. Good 
job! Now we have something to screw the plasterboard to! Isn't that amazing? By 100 plasterboards! Well done! Now place them on one side. Looks great! After installing the plasterboard, you'll need to use nails to attach it. Take your drill out and screw it in! This guy? If, I need to, if this is your, fr I need your friend, Every anyone? Wall needs to be Please defriend this guy. Defriend him right wolves now. Often used to do that. Buy 20 rock wolves in the shop. Excellent. Oh. To lay the plasterboard so on the other side of the wall, you must first lay insulation between them. Select it from the inventory and insert it in the missing places. Lovely. Attach one more plasterboard on the other side. One more? I place like what, three? How partition walls are insulated. The profiles must be fixed to the floors and ceiling, and the plasterboards to the profiles. There's also a second type of partition wall. Concrete partition walls. Assembly is very different. First, you need to lay a damp-proof course. By 20 insulation. Now, place it on the ground. Good job! Remember what you've done with bearing walls? You need some mortar. You'll find it in the wheelbarrow. Great. Once the mortar has been collected on the trowel, it remains until you've exhausted the stock in the wheelbarrow. Pretty cool, right? It took our game designers way too long to figure out this solution. Place mortar! Everything's ready for concrete blocks. Don't forget the lintel over the door. Buy 100 concrete blocks and one lintel. You won't need as much. But you never know when inflation will get to the DIY markets! Build a concrete partition wall! Alright, so... Oh, so you want me to do all of it now? Huh? Jesus. Developers, this guy is harassing me. I like to file. A, I like to file a complaint against that robot. It's been harassing me the whole time. I'm tired of it. So I guess we can. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, six. All right. Uh, trial. So six. And I think this is five. Yeah. Huh. Oh my god. How many how many higher do you want me to go, sir? Wanna hear a construction joke? No. Wait, I'm still working on it. <laughs> ha 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 Yeah, I'm gonna file a restraining order against that bot. It's really it's disrespectful. Work. One more fun thing is that you can destroy that! But first, you have to mark with an eraser which wall you want to destroy on the planner. 
This time I'll do it for you automatically. Got your back, Jack! If you are not happy with the partition walls, take a hammer in your hand and destroy them! Come here. You've already got the walls covered. Come here. I wonder what's next. See you oh. in a minute. Mm. I want to bang my head against against that man. I want to go bop, bop. Hello, my fellow builder. What goes up and down, but stays in the same place. What? Stairs. Wow. I would never. Well, honestly, I did not know that. Maybe I don't. Hey, folks. Uh, if you're liking what you see, make sure you hit that follow button. If you enjoyed me getting harassed by this bot, make sure you make sure you subscribe. And you can build I mean, any subscribe shape of house. And you can hit build the a like house button. As big as the plot if you're not part of the, will allow you to. not part of the group, uh, not part of my channel. Of your if you're house, not a subscriber, you need stairs. In some cases, a no clip is sufficient, but this is only in creative mode. This stage will be simple, but maximally rewarding. Buy one staircase in the shop. Great. Now select them in your inventory and place them where you've marked them on the planner. Wow. With a scroll wheel, you can precisely move the stairs to the right and left. Amazing! Hmm, the more I look at them, I think they don't fit. Oh my god. As I am not annoying at all, I will pretend to be your favorite customer who does not know what he likes. You need to change them. St this also applies to game and software development. Tear them down with your hammer! Nice! Now buy different stairs in the shop. You're quick! Place the stairs again. See how simple and satisfying it is? It's all, it's just a simple in different way, color. You're able to test different Come solutions here. immediately without having to monotonously Shut. build up the entire structure. Oh, we God, want you to have fun this. after all. Thank you, and see you later. That's it. Hey, hey, hey! Next stage is sure. This should be the last stage, the hopefully, room. folks. We're just Follow doing a tutorial this 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 up video, this episode, and then next one. Hopefully, we're getting close. I feel it. We're getting close. I don't have to keep being harassed by this guy. I'm sick and tired of you, my my guy. It's not rocket science that every building needs a roof. In our game, you can build several types of roof, starting with the simplest and most modern flat roof, ending with multi-slope roofs. For the purposes of tutorial, let's try hip roofs. First, you need to buy a proper blueprint in the shop. Open the store and buy Hip Roof Blueprint. Excellent! When you choose it and look at the top of the building, you will notice a hologram. Use the scroll bar or arrows on the controller to adjust the roof angle. It's good. Confirm it when you're done. Alright, I did it. Great! All you need now are roof beams. Uh... Buy some roof beams from the store. Nice! Now your task will be to complete all the necessary roof beams in the hologram. Remember that you can build scaffolding when working at height. Health and safety department is crossing their fingers. You think I care? You honestly think I care about the safety? I'll show if you're watching this. I don't care. <laughs> You didn't do anything. Intense. Mineral wool, insulation, and plasterboard will be completed automatically so as not to create another phone clicker. We highly respect your time. Just kidding. More bearing walls. <laughs> Back to the subject. You've already prepared the roof for the tiles. Buy a lot of roof tiles. I know I could buy scuffling, but honestly. Good job! Part of the roof is still worth completing. 
leading their gutters. On most sloping roofs, gutters are installed to carry the water to the downpipes. Okay. This significantly reduces wetting of house walls during rain and snow melt. Yeah, I'm not dumb. I know. I live in a house. Part of the finishing work. See you in the next stage. Hopefully this don't believe this is the last tutorial. Hopefully this is the last one. I'm sick of tired of this bot guy. Welcome to the source of our game. We call it planner because it helps you design any house you want, which you then build. Sounds great? You can save your projects, and if you want to, share them with other players. Okay. How cool is that? All right. I will guide you through the various options available. We will plan the house we have prepared to teach you how to do it. You have four tools to use. Cursor, eraser, and add remove floor. Cursor is set by default. You can find help with every element and tool on the top left corner of the screen. This was the last one. I couldn't remember both. Try to hide remember. and show the help panel. Good job. Let's start with the load-bearing wall. Select them from the elements. You can create walls in a line or rectangle by pressing Shift or X on the controller. Draw the load-bearing walls. Good job. Now let's draw the partition walls. We work on a small plot of land, so we cannot overdo. Okay. Remember that there are three plot sizes available in the game. All right. Amazing. I think we still need a piece of concrete partition wall. Draw a piece of concrete partition wall. I did. Great. Hmm. What else we might need? Windows. After all, everybody likes to peep at their neighbors. Uh. Windows are of different sizes. Increase or decrease them as desired. The largest windows are terrace windows. Insert four windows. Oh, okay. Uh. What the heck? Good job. To get into rooms, we need doors. Insert two interior doors. You can rotate them freely and change the direction of the door opening. See the help panel for available options. Okay. Looks nice. Now we need to add an external door to get inside. Uh, external door? Uh, let me see here. Uh. You can check any time whether the building meets the oh, minimum Oh, should put the other way. Jesus. Now let's put the stairs in. You are free to rotate them, but for the purpose of the tutorial, place them in the indicated position. Nice. I think we should add a floor. Add a floor by clicking on the option available next to the eraser. Great. Now you can move freely between levels. Everything you did on the ground floor, you can do on the first floor. Except for swimming pools and paths, but that's common sense, right? <laughs> it's funny. The okay. load-bearing walls of the building go from level to level as the base of the building, and you can't move them after adding a floor. Now, we could also put in a swimming pool and paths. Let's go to the ground floor. A swimming pool is simply a rectangle for which you need enough space to designate it. Draw a swimming pool next to your house. I did, I did. Good job. I think we might need some path to the swimming pool, don't you think? Let's choose a path, increase it a little, and draw it to the end of the pool. After you mark out the path, you put paving stones in their place. Great. Let's check that we have everything. Amazing. Let's save this project. Call it how you like. Uh, dem uh, demo house. There you go. Great. Now you'll be.
be able to build this on any available level on the medium plot of land. The largest plot is huge! So lots of creative fun ahead! However, if you don't want to spend time designing houses, you can use the random option. See you later! That's all? Yes! Yes, folks, we finally finished. Alright, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.